Hi friends and colleagues, and welcome to the Ladder Tutorial Series. I'm Lada Vexelman, and in this episode we are finally going to give our character the ability to climb the ladder. We're going to start uh, building this functionality. First thing we need to cover is communicating between the ladder and the character. So the idea here is inside our character to write a functionality that is toggling between walking and climbing. And we want the ladder actually to call this functionality on the character whenever the character is stepping on the ladder. So we are communicating, we want to communicate between the ladder and the character. And again, this will be the focus of this episode. We're just gonna buy, uh, build the uh, groundwork for this communication. So first thing, I'm gonna go inside my third person character. And if you, uh, if you don't see it in your level, you can go here to third person VP folder under blueprints, you will find it third person character and then you can just drag it around or you can even um, just go to it by clicking like that. It's the same thing. And going in, you already see some functionality that it's already written here uh, inside the third person template project. Okay, if I just play it, I can run around, I can jump, look around. And there's a lot of functionality that is already written in this template project. And this is this, is this functionality. And we are going to add new functionality that's eventually going to allow us to uh, toggle climbing. And first thing in our process is creating this function. Okay, so I'm going to click here on plus function and I'm creating a new function and we're going to call it toggle climbing. And because um, our, our uh, focus now is just uh, communicating between the ladder and the character, we're just going to do something extremely simple. This function is going to do something very, very, very simple. It's just going to print string, which is going to print on the string a string on the screen a string, and we're going to change it from hello to climbing on, just to check that it's working. And if uh, our process works. Um, we're going to see our character actually whenever it's walking on the ladder. We're going to see here on the left, uh, climbing on, a uh, string being printed. Going back to my third person character, uh, to my ladder, sorry, I'm going back to my ladder. Now I want to trigger somehow uh, effect through my ladder the third person character. I want to communicate between the two. I want to make, I want to give the ladder the ability to talk to the third person here. So in order to do that, I'm going to my uh, player climb check. This is an overlap, um, a collision box that we created. It just checks uh, for overlapping actors that's going to touch uh, the ladder, okay? And if I click on this, on this component, right click, and then go to add event and on begin, add on component begin overlap, I'm adding this event and I'm going to my event graph. I see a new event here on component begin overlap. And this event is fired whenever anything is overlapping this box. So it's very useful because it's exactly what we want to do. We want to fire an event whenever our character is uh, touching this box, whenever the character is walking on the ladder. So how uh, are we going about doing that? If you look here, we see we have a few outputs out of this event. One of those outputs is other actor. And this gives us a reference to the actor that actually triggered the overlap event. And we are hoping, in our case, it's the third person character. So dragging out of other actor, I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna type cast to third person character. Okay, this is the name. You can see here the third person character. This is the name of this blueprint that we are trying to, to find, to communicate with. And again, out of other actor, I'm just do, telling it to cast to third person character. Now, without going too deep into casting, because it's not um, in this tutorial scope, what's, go what's happening here is that we are taking the actor class that tried 
that overlapped our box, okay? This gives us this actor that overlapped the box that triggered this event. And we're trying to see, this is what casting does. We're trying to see if this actor is third person character blueprint, okay? If it is the third person character blueprint, if it is indeed this blueprint with the functionality that we've written, this functionality, if it's true, it's going to continue the execution here. If it's false, it's going to go here to cast failed. Okay? And if it's true, we will get access through here, through this pin, to the third person uh, blueprint, to the current blueprint that triggered the overlap event. We're going to get access to all its variables and all its functionality. So this is how we're communicating. Cast failed, for in this instance, is good that uh, in instance, um, an example, if you want to, let's say, there we have other um, other elements in our game, let's say cars or enemies that are going to touch the ladder, but we don't want them to climb it when they touch it. So um, this kind of filter that we're doing here is going to go to uh, failed, because if the other actor is not the third person character here um, the functionality that we are going to execute through here is not going to run so it's going to filter out all these actors and it's going to work only on the third person character class okay so as i said now after we um, cast to the third person character and we'll hit compile here quickly we can have access now to this function let's type toggle Climbing. Remember, this is the function. I can double click it and it's going to the third person character instantaneously to look in our, at our function. And this will trigger this actually. The climbing is on. So our ladder, our ladder event graph has an event begin overlap that is taking whatever overlapped it, checked, checks if it's a third person character. And if it's a third-person character, it's just going to call the toggle climbing function inside this blueprint. Okay? And now let's check our functionality. Let's see what happens if I walk. You see? Whenever I'm close enough and I'm actually overlapping this hitbox, I'm getting the print string climbing is on. Okay? This is actually the ladder telling the character to call a function uh, that prints climbing is on. Okay, now just to expand this a little bit before we move on, is I have another event here, of course, um, that we can do an end overlap event, not begin, but oh, end, because we also need an event whenever we stop uh, climbing, right? Whenever we get off the ladder, we want to go back to walking. So again, I'm going to right click on player climb check here, add event. And now I'm going to add on component end overlap event. Okay, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to take our actor that stopped the overlap. We're going to try to see if it's a third person char uh, character. And if it's true, we're going to go again and say toggle climbing. Um, but we see we are missing here something. Sorry, I forgot to connect this, of course. I think. But you see we're we are missing something um, because toggle climbing, um, if we go back to our function, it always says climbing on, right? But we want to also have the functionality here to have a, like the off. Let's add another print string, call it climbing off. Okay, so it will toggle between on and off. So in order to do that, I need to pass to my function um, a boolean and uh, a boolean uh, variable. And this boolean is going to be true or false, whether we're climbing or not climbing. So I'm just clicking on my function here on this purple uh, box, going to inputs and adding a new parameter. It's automatically a boolean, but I can change it here if I want to, but I want a boolean. And I'm going to change it, uh, just its, its name to is climbing. 
Okay, and we, you see I have a pin here, a new pin is climbing. And if I go to my ladder, I already see a change here. I suddenly have is climbing option here to input yes or no, yes or no. Okay, now going back again to my third person. Now I can add here a branch by just holding B and left clicking. And I can choose between two uh, possibilities. Okay, I'm just plugging is climbing in. and if we are passing to our function um, the value is climbing true, we want to set climbing to on. And if we are passing is climbing false, we are climbing off. Okay? And now going back again to my ladder, I can tell it that in the event that we are start the overlap, begin overlap, token climbing is going to get the value true. Okay, so it's going to go here and go back to true and do climbing on. Go here. But when we stop the overlap, when we get off the ladder, again, it's going to go all the way to toggle climbing, but it's going to give it the value no, false. Okay, it's going to go here and go false and print string climbing off. Now let's check our functionality. And what we should see is that the moment we walk close we get climbing on and as we get off it says climbing off climbing on climbing off wax on wax off so let's wrap this video up and summarize what we did we managed to communicate between the ladder and the character okay successfully and next episode we're going to change this functionality here that's just print stringing climb on and climb off to something more meaningful that actually is going to change the behavior of the character to climbing on and off don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with the next videos and I hope to see you next time.